Tucson Toros Group Yahoo Fantasy Baseball 2010 action. We're going to take a look at Jimmy Dugan, who took on Lucky this week. Uh, Jimmy Dugan walked away the victor. 7-2-1 and one was the final in this one. Dugan now improves to 57, 38, and 5, while Lucky is now 34, 59, and 7. For Dugan, these two teams have faced off twice all time, and Dugan has won both matchups now. Uh, this is Dugan's longest win streak of the season at four straight weeks. The franchise record is five set last season in the middle of the season, so we'll see if Dugan can try to match that in week 11 action. Uh, for Lucky, uh, this team has lost four straight since picking up the team's only victory all year. And it's the third time this season this team has lost by a final score of 2-7-1. and one. That's very unusual. Jimmy Dugan set a season high in the saves category this week, while Lucky set a season worst in the whip category this week. I uh, do want to point out, though, that Lucky had a very good average this week. On the offensive side, these two teams split things 2-2-1, two, two, and one, with Jimmy Dugan taking the RBI and stolen base categories while splitting the home run category. All five of those battles, all five of those battles though, were really close uh, when all was said and done. On the pitching side, Jimmy Dugan swept all five categories, complete opposite of the offensive side. All five categories not even close for Dugan with the 5-0 sweep on the, on the mound. With the bat, though, Jimmy Dugan had five players hit a homer. Austin Kearns had three home runs this week with five RBIs. Trey Gloss continues to impress. He had two homers, five RBIs, and a 407 average. Kelly Johnson had seven runs and seven RBIs this week, added to what the other guys were doing. Some of the sore spots this week, though, Austin Jackson, he only hit 136 for the week with no runs. Uh, he had been on a tear up until the last week and a half or so. And Jose Bautista didn't get a hit all week for Dugan. He had just one run. For Lucky, only eight players were used. Six of them, though, hit home runs. Uh, Michael Young had two homers, eight RBIs. Or I'm sorry, eight runs and four RBIs. He hit 367 for the week. Six players hit 300 or better. All eight players used got at least two RBIs. Seven players had four or more runs. Pitching was a no contest, though. Jimmy Dugan took all five categories rather cleanly. Uh, closer John Axford picked up two wins for Dugan. Three pitchers had double-digit Ks this week. Six pitchers had an ERA of four or higher, but they were canceled out by Brian Fuentes with his zero ERA, Brett Cecil with an ERA of 1.35, and Carlos Silva, uh, who darn near uh, you know, pitched his heart out uh, this weekend. He had an ERA of 1.93. Four pitchers had a whip under one as the, uh, for the team as well. For Lucky, uh, still banged up on the pitching staff, managed just one victory this week. That was CC Sabathia. He had eight strikeouts to go with that win and a 2.57 ERA. He was also the only pitcher on the staff to get more than five strikeouts. Chad Qualls, his uh, up-and-down season continued. He managed two saves for Lucky, but had an ERA of 20.25 and a whip of 4.5. That is just not getting the job done out of the bullpen. Also not getting the job done out of the bullpen was George Sherrill. Uh, he had an ERA of 27 and a whip of 6. So those guys not helping the cause. And it didn't help also that Jonathan Papelbon missed some time this week. Uh, had to go on the bereavement list. Didn't pick up a save all week for Lucky's cause. Uh, moving forward, Jimmy Dugan's now second in the standings, nine games out of first place. Going to be taking on top sixer Waveland and Sheffield this coming week. Should be a great matchup. While Lucky now sits 15th in the standings, six and a half games out of 12th, and going to be taking on 12th place, the Androids, this week. Those two teams faced off twice last year with Androids picking up the win in both matchups. So it'll be really interesting to see if Lucky can maybe close some ground taking on the team that she's got to catch in the standings.